Hi everyone, today I have the wireless AV camera which is really cheap. It's 49 USD for the whole set which is the transmitter and the receiver unit. And it says here wireless AV camera. I got this from a friend and basically he had a bad experience. The performance was really crappy and the range test was like 3 meters. So I decided to have a look at this unit. This is the all-in-one unit. It has the camera and the 1.2 GHz video transmitter module right here which is really small. And This is the heat string that I removed from the module and this is the little microphone to pick up the audio. Now what's interesting is um, when I cut the power supply cable I realized that there are three wires yellow, red and black instead of just two wires which are the usual red and black wires. So I was really puzzled and I was afraid that if I hook up the um, 2S LiPo pack directly to the all-in-one unit it will damage the unit because there are three wires yellow, red and black. So basically I did some tests using the simple LED light to check for continuity. I tried all different combinations and I found out that um, the LED light lit up brightly 100% continuity in the circuit when I have the ground to the black and also lit up completely when I have the signal the one in the middle here, positive signal to the yellow now what's interesting is when I have the positive signal from here to the red which I thought would give me 100% continuity the LED light did not light up fully in fact it was quite dim so I was really curious and the plug looks unusually big and I decided to open it up and look what I've got basically that is a 5 volt regulator inside so what this does is it will step down the input your 9 volt or 8.4 volts step it down to 5 volts for the red wire and the yellow wire basically there's no step down it's still 8.4 volts so what this means is that basically the 5 volts step down by the regulator is for the camera because I followed the um, connection the red wire goes to the camera it goes to the camera and then the yellow wire which is the 8.4 volts it goes directly to the transmitter module if you look at this little transmitter module this is the antenna and interestingly it does not have the ground it goes directly to the signal there's no ground wire sticking out so I'm going to replace this wire with the standard coaxial so the signal will go to signal and the shielding wires, the braided wires, the ground would go to the ground here. Okay, I've completed modifying the wireless camera. Now it has the proper antenna. This antenna here is the standard dipole with the elements at 120 degrees apart. And as you can see here, this is the voltage regulator that steps down the 2S LiPo pack to 5 volts to power the camera. Now let's take a look at the output video. The lens gives a very close up image. It's like a 2 times zoom can see here very close up 
think I'll change that lens to a wide angle lens. Okay, let me change the lens. All right, we have the new lens installed on the camera. This is the wide angle lens, 28mm from dualxtreme.com. And this is the original lens. Now let's take a look at the video image. It's pretty good and not as close up as before. I think we can do FPV with this lens. Now let's see how much of an improvement we get from the dipole antenna. As you can see the screen is flickering and that's due to the refresh rate of the CRT. It has nothing to do with the reception. Now I'm going to get to the different corners of the house to see how good the range is. There's reception throughout the house, although the image isn't crystal clear at the furthest corner. But this is really amazing because the range test initially out of the box was pathetic. Now that we are done exploring the transmitter portion, let's take a look at the receiver antenna. At the first glance, this looks like a normal coaxial antenna, but it's not. The section here is actually the signal. So there's no ground element. And if you strip it apart, you can see a little helical. And basically this is just a signal. There's no ground. So I'm going to replace this with a standard coaxial that has ground and signal. And then use a better antenna for the receiver unit. For long range reception, I opt for the bi quad antenna. Basically, I built the refractor using aluminum sheet and acrylic sheet. And the copper elements are 22 AWG wires. These are easily put together, and the completed unit could be mounted on a tripod. Okay, let's see how well it performs. Okay, FPV.
Thank you.